How's it going guys? We have a difficult question for genetics. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical, links down below. Find us on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now let's start the clip. 19 year old dude, he had a large VSD at birth. It was repaired using a prosthetic patch. Physical exam shows no cardio pulmonary anomalies. We have this image of ear pitting, which is a hole that goes beneath the skin and it's almost always benign and it's usually idiopathic. If it becomes infected, the patient can opt for surgical closure. Sometimes it's associated with a congenital syndrome called CHARGE, all capitals, C-H-A-R-G-E. What's most likely seen as patient? Correct answer, choice B, coloboma, which is a hole in the iris where the pupil appears to bleed, quote unquote. Okay, so Aniridia, in contrast, is absent iris. It'll, the whole eye will just appear black. So let's kind of walk through this. So coloboma, charge syndrome, coloboma of the eye. Iris appears, or the, the pupil appears to bleed into the iris. And then you have H, heart defects, which we have here. A is atresia of the coenae, a.k.a. coanal atresia, which means the nasal passages are not patent at birth. So it'll present where the child will become blue while breastfeeding, and then when detaching from the breast, will cry and become pink again. And you diagnose by inserting an NG tube, and you won't be able to pass it through the nose because you have atresia of the nasal passages. They're not patent. I've had some students get the question right coincidentally because inserting an NG tube is also what you do to diagnose tracheoesophageal fistula as the next, as the next best step. Okay, so in both those cases for peds, you insert an NG tube. Obviously, with tracheoesophageal fistula, you're not going to be able to insert it either because it'll hit the proximal blind patch of the esophagus. So we said uh, atresia of the coenae, and then R is renal defects, G is genital urinary anomalies, E is ear anomalies, which we have here. Okay, so looking at aniridia, you'd see that with what? Do you guys know? Okay, so this is gonna be wager complex. It's a WT1 mutation. It's one of the Wilms tumor syndromes. So Wilms tumor, aniridia, where the eye just appears black, genourinary anomalies. And then R is retardation of growth and development. Okay, so WT1 mutation can cause the wager complex. Wrong fucking answer. Choice hypothyroidism is wrong. It's not specifically associated with charge center. I'm sure if we Googled it, they'll tell you, yeah, of course, there's increased risk of hypothyroidism, not for you assembly purposes, okay? You can basically Google anything and it'll say, yes, it's associated, but it's not, okay? So hypothyroidism, at least for you assembly, you could know that it could relate to Down syndrome, right? There's increased risk of, it's not cretinism per se, that's congenital hypothyroidism, right? We get the pot belly, large tongue, you get uh, soft, enlarged fontanelles, decreased bone growth, ment mental retardation because of uh, you need thyroid hormone for myelin development as well. So decreased linear bone growth, that's all cretinism. But patients with Down syndrome can just simply go on to develop hypothyroidism, you could be aware. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, lipoma, wrong answer. So a bit of an obscurity, but I threw it in here like that. Students don't know an answer, they just choose something bizarre, not to say that A and B aren't more bizarre, right? But lipoma could relate to Gardner syndrome for you, some of you know that. So familial adenomatous polyposis from the uh, APC gene, chromosome five, autosomal dominant, right? So adenomatous polyposis coli, right? So if you, that's hundreds to thousands of polyps within the colon. So if you have, FAP plus soft tissue tumors like lipomas, osteomas, it's called Gardner syndrome. If you have FAP plus CNS tumors, it's called Turco syndrome, spelled Turcot. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, recurrent pneumonia is wrong. So I mean, just miscellaneous distractor, obviously things like cystic fibrosis, recurrent pneumonias, Cartagena syndrome, primary ciliary dyskinesia. IgA deficiency, right? Recurrent sinopulmonary infections, but charge syndrome isn't considered an immunodeficiency.
wrong fucking answer.